Hi everybody, this is Debbie with DebbieMace.com and today um, I want to talk to you about using common sense in your business. So have you ever been one of those people that you're sitting there um, on Facebook and all of a sudden you get this message and you open it up and it's from somebody you have no idea and there's like four paragraphs in there and you're just like, what the heck is this? Well, I get that every day, all the time, like at least 10 times a day. So um, let's talk about this and um, let's talk about the common sense that we need to use when we are online with our businesses, okay? So um, a lot of us, we work from home and we work online. So when you're working online, you go straight to social media, right? Well, there's a reason why it's called social media. is because this is an area for people to get to know each other, right? Um, we're not at home throwing a party, through, um, showing up our products and saying, ooh, you know, buy this, buy that. That's why you came here. Well, on social media, we don't have that unless we are actually throwing up an ad and using our business page for an ad. That's what ads are for. Um, we also can um, do up different things and throw parties. Well, if people join your party, well then yes, they're there to buy your product. But other than that, we are actually on a social media platform. So people go to talk to other people and to get to know friends. So when you're out there and you're prospecting and you're trying to meet new people, um, sending out messages and saying, oh, hey, buy my product without even talking to them isn't actually using common sense. All you're doing is kind of making people mad. Um, and you don't want to have a negative vibe when you're meeting new people. So, for instance, um, let's say somebody messaged me. And the first thing they said was, hey, I'm, I am with this awesome makeup company and you need to come buy my products. Yeah, I'm, you know, hopefully nobody would actually say it that way. But um, they've never talked to me and they don't know what I like. They don't know, you know, I don't wear a whole lot of makeup. And I have been with a company that I thoroughly enjoy their makeup products. Um, and it works for me. And so I am totally not someone that a makeup person wants to come to because I'm off the market. I'm, I'm already sold on the makeup that I use. I love it. And I'm not going anywhere else. I don't have any complaints. So that person prospecting to me that way is completely wasting their time, first of all. And they're not they didn't get to know me so my first instinct towards them is like whoa 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 what the heck I don't respond or I respond and say what the heck you know why why so you don't you want to use common sense to so find out what people need because maybe that makeup company actually has a product that I like or that I need. Maybe it has some type of lotion that I'm looking for, but I'm not going to buy from the person that messaged me that because I have a negative feeling towards them. And you don't buy from people that you don't know. You buy from people you know, like, and trust. So on social media, you need to get to know people. You get, you need to get people to like you and you need to get people to trust you. That is just using common sense in a social media platform. So go out there, make new friends, get people to know, like, and trust you so you can grow your business. All right. Go visit my website at www.debbymace.com and I will see you next time.